Hello everyone. My name is Pankaj Chavan and I am going to be your instructor for the next semester course of fluid mechanics. First, we will quickly uh, go through the term fluid mechanics. So, what exactly the meaning of fluid mechanics is and what we are going to study under the scope of fluid mechanics we will see. So, fluid mechanics, this name, it consists of two important terms. First one is a fluid and second is mechanics. As we know, fluids are those substances which are capable of flowing. So, three different states of matter we have. Solids, liquids and gases. Out of these three states of matter, liquids and gases are the two states of matter which are having capability to flow. So, we can say that liquids and gases, both these states of matter are nothing but fluids. So, fluids are nothing but the substances which are capable of flowing. Now, we are aware about the term mechanics. So, in mechanics, basically we are studying about bodies at rest or bodies in motion. So, both these different cases we are studying under the application of force. So, when we talk about the study of bodies at rest under the application of force, it is known as uh, statics part. And when we talk about the study of bodies which are in motion under the application of force, it is known as dynamics. So, altogether from this we can now define fluid mechanics. Now, how we can define that? So, fluid mechanics is nothing but the study of behavior of fluids at rest or the behavior when the fluid it is in motion. So, fluid mechanics it deals with the study of fluids when they are at rest or they are in motion. So, when the fluids are at rest it is known as fluid statics and when the fluid it is in motion this is known as fluid dynamics. Now, under this again in addition to this what we are studying is we are studying about the interaction of fluids with solid boundaries. So, this fluid which is either at uh, rest or in motion, they can interact with the solid boundaries. Now, with the interaction with the solid boundary, what exactly the behavior of fluid is that we are going to study in fluid mechanics. So, here we can consider one example. So, a ship we can consider here. Now, this ship is moving through water. So, water it is coming in contact with the solid boundary of this ship. So, we can say that the water which is nothing but a fluid. So, it is interacting with the solid boundary. So, water can apply certain amount of force onto this boundary and this boundary should withstand that forces. So, this study we are going to undertake under the domain of fluid mechanics. As we understood uh, what fluid mechanics is, what is the meaning of the term fluid mechanics and what we are going to study under this uh, domain of fluid mechanics. Now, we will understand uh, what exactly we have studied before this. So, before fluid mechanics, we have studied about engineering mechanics. So, in engineering mechanics, uh, we have discussed about solid bodies. So, solid body mechanics was the part we have covered under the domain of engineering mechanics. So, what is the meaning of solid body mechanics? So, it is nothing but study of solids either when they are in motion or they are at rest. So, while doing this study and while analyzing these different cases, one important assumption we have considered that the bodies are rigid in nature. Now, what is the meaning of rigid bodies? So, the bodies which does not undergo deformation under the application of force. So, rigid bodies are uh, the bodies which is an imaginary concept uh, which are not going under uh, which are not undergoing any deformation when you are applying force on it. So, let us consider a body you have. So, on this body if you are applying some force, even the force is applied on it, the body will not change its shape again it will not change its size. So, size as well as what are the shape it have. Shape and size both are going to remain same. So, it is nothing but what? No deformation present and this body can be treated as a rigid body. So, by assuming different bodies are as, as rigid, we have analyzed the systems and this is known as engineering mechanics. So, we can take here one example. So, let us consider a crane we have with the use of which we are uh, lifting up or lowering down this object. Now, if we focus first on this object, uh, we can uh, understand that this object, if it is lifted up or it is lowered down, it will uh, come in motion. So, this is the body which is in motion and this motion is caused by a certain force with the use of this system. So, this system, it will apply certain force on it and this body will move. So, when you are talking about the movement of a body under the application of force, it comes under 
the part of fluid dynamics and if we consider this element now which is at rest so this is the element which is at rest it is supporting this object as well as the system with which you are lifting or lowering down this so again on this element some force will come so it will take up certain force and it will withstand that force so this element it is stationary and onto this stationary element the forces are acting so this is nothing but a part which is known as static after engineering mechanics you have also studied about strength of materials so what you have studied in strength of materials so basically you have uh, studied about deformations of solid body here we are considering no deformations but in strength of materials the deformations we have taken into account and this deformations of solid bodies we have studied in strength of materials that's why the bodies we have considered here these are nothing but deformed bodies so what is the meaning of a deformed body let us take one example uh one athlete you can see here so this stick it was initially straight but when the force is applied here as well as here so after the application of force the stick is changing its shape as well as size so from straight it has got shifted uh, it has deformed into some curved shape so this is nothing but what the body is getting deformed so what amount of deformation it will undergo under the application of force so this part you have studied in strength of material now we are going to study about fluid mechanics and we know fluid mechanics is nothing but what it's a study of fluids either in motion or at rest when some force is applied on it so now as we understood what is the meaning of fluid mechanics then what subjects we have covered before this now we will understand why there is a necessity of studying this subject what exactly the motivation uh, which initiates the study of this so this is we are going to study Uh, with the help of some applications so some applications of fluid mechanics we will consider and then uh, we can say that the fluid mechanics part or the subject of fluid mechanics it is relevant to what number of applications we have in engine, mechanical engineering system. and then we can uh, say that as the different number of applications we have the basics and principles of fluid mechanics are important to study and it will uh, be nothing but a motivation of the subject that we are undertaking so let us consider a day to day activity system so every day you are making use of vacuum cleaners so vacuum cleaners what basically they do they collects dirt and some uh, particles which are there and this uh, dirt particles collected will get stored some, some uh, in this system now to this uh, to do this what they are doing vacuum is created in this system and to create this vacuum to generate the vacuum vacuum pumps are required vacuum pumps then removing air so it means that with the use of vacuum pumps we are removing air here so this removed air within this system it is again flowing through this so this is nothing but what a flow of fluid you, you have within a system so it is nothing but a kind of system in which the principles and basics of fluid mechanics will be applied now we can consider a very high end application like supersonic uh, aircraft so in this aircraft uh combustion of fuel you can have uh, to drive this uh, aircraft then uh, the exhaust gases coming out from nozzle we can have so in all this system the flow of uh, fluid like fuel or the exhaust gases coming out it is present and it is again interacting with some solid boundary that's why we can say that here the uh, importance of fluid mechanics and principles of basics of fluid mechanics we have to apply we can consider in addition to this some biomechanic system so this is artificial heart you can see here so the function of heart is what to pump blood so the heart if it is not functioning properly we can make use of artificial hearts we can implant it into the human body so this artificial heart it is designed on the basis of uh, principles of fluid mechanics because it is having some pumping system it is having some ports some valves are there so that valves blood should flow blood should flow with certain flow rate and all these things are analyzed and designed on the basis of fluid mechanics we can uh, consider a dialysis system here in which what we are doing is impure blood is taken out from the body and this impure blood it is cleaned in this dialyzer system and again the pure blood is uh, redirected to redirected to the body so in this system whatever the components you observe here this piping system this dialyzer system uh this is designed on the basis of fluid mechanics that is what diameter to be given at what rate the blood should flow 
at what rate the blood should get cleaned within this system this is nothing but the thing which is uh, designed primarily on the basis of blood flow breathing system then uh, ventilating system ventilator systems uh, in medical application uh, this is nothing but another application then piping network of uh, individual houses for sewage lpg or water or the piping network of entire city so all this designed again on principles of fluid mechanics what the diameter it should have whatever the number of bends it should give then uh, what losses occurs in this bend all these things need to be considered ducting network of heating and air conditioning systems and very interesting application of streamlining of a car so this smooth shape you can observe here so it is uh, provided for certain technical reason it's like uh, when the vehicle is moving the car is moving air will oppose the motion of it so it is moving in the forward direction and it uh, air will uh, provide the resistance to it uh, to its motion and now what we are doing we are providing a curvature a streamlining of this car we have done a very smooth surfaces we have provided here because of which the air particles can smoothly flow over it and it uh, it should not resist that much so this resistance it is being reduced with the use of this uh, curvature provided so what curvature to be provided and by providing this what is the reduction in the amount of resistance it is calculated using fluid mechanics so all these applications uh, it will tell you about the importance of fluid mechanics and why exactly we should study we will quickly go, go through the states of matter so we all know uh, what solids liquids and gases are so typically we will have a review of it so solids are nothing but the substances which are having the strong cohesion means the intermolecular force of attraction that we have here so they are stronger in case of solids because of which they have some formal structure and uh, they are having some specific shape shape a fixed shape they have in case of liquids the intermolecular force of attraction are not that much stronger as in case of solids but they are medium we can say and because of which what is ha happening the intermolecular forces of attraction are not strongest but they are medium so that the molecules will uh, be together the molecules will be together every time so as they are not strongest what will happen if you apply force on it the molecules can easily move out and uh, because of which it is having a flowable nature but in case of gases uh, you have negligible cohesion there is no intermolecular force of attraction present now because of which what will happen if you pour the gas in a container it will occupy the whole space whereas in case of liquids when you pour it in a container it will not occupy the entire space it will have some fixed volume so this is nothing but what in solids and liquids you have fixed volume whereas in case of gases no fixed fixed volume you have now as we understood uh, fluid mechanics uh, meaning of it and different applications we have gone through then again uh, different states of matter we have uh, quickly studied about now we'll understand uh, the technical definition of a fluid so to do that what we'll consider we'll take one example so let us consider a cup of coffee you have and uh, this is a spoon with which you are interacting with this fluid so there is a interaction between a solid boundary and a fluid now what will happen when you stir this stir this coffee the solid boundary it is applying force on it and because of which it will undergo a continuous motion means it will get continuously deformed but in case of solids what will happen if you consider a keyboard and uh, this key you are pressing with the help of your finger what are the spring that is present below this key it will get compressed but this compression will be finite it is not a continuous compression you will have so in case of solids what you will have is under the application of force the bodies will undergo finite deformation some permanent deformation but in case of liquids or gases that is fluids you will have a continuous deformation so whatever the duration of time you will apply the force they are, they will continuously get deformed so this we can consider again through example let us consider two parallel plates we have and this is a solid element present on the top plate if i am applying the force in case of solids what will happen it will get deformed so this deformation will be some finite deformation but in case of uh, fluids what will happen if two plates we have and fluid is present between when you are applying the force on the top plate it will get continuously deformed so it shows that for whatever the time duration you are going to apply this force the deformation will go on increasing so we can define fluids as the substance which deforms continuously under the action of forces however small they may be so here even a small force you are applying it will get deformed 